In this video, we will introduce the use of the T statistic. We start with two data sets, C3 and C2, which record the growth of a bacterial population as a function of time for two concentrations of antibacterial surface cleaner. And we wish to use the T statistic to test for a difference between the slopes of these two lines with respect to the time. So we start with concentration C3 and we will use the Excel function slope to calculate the slope of the line, identifying the known y values and then the known x values which are time. We will copy the same function to column F to do the calculation for C2 but we will want to refer to the same time values which we will lock into column A by using the dollar signs. We can then copy this slope calculation for concentration C2. So we've got the slopes of the two lines and there is a small difference between them 0.227 and 0.278. Each line has six data pairs. And next we calculate the standard error of regression for C3 using the function STEYX. And again, known Ys, known Xs, again locking the X values. And then we can calculate the standard error of the slope specifically, which is equal to the standard error of regression divided by the square root of the sums of squares of the x variables, or in this case the time, which we can calculate by taking the sample variance of the x variables and multiplying this by the degrees of freedom, which is the number of data pairs, minus 1. Again, putting dollar signs for the x variables. We can copy both of these calculations across for data set C2. So we have the two slopes for the lines and estimates of the uncertainty in these slopes for the two lines. So to calculate the t-value, we first of all take the difference between the two slopes. We have C2 minus C3. We now need the standard error of the difference, which we get by combining these two standard errors using the squared relationship similar to a Pythagoras equation. So this will be the square root of each of these standard errors squared and added together. So we've now got the difference in slope and the standard error in this difference. So the t statistic is just the ratio of the difference divided by the standard error. For this calculation, the degrees of freedom is just the sum of the two sample sizes, but minus 4. And then the p-value is calculated by using the two-tailed t distribution, t dist two-tailed, with the measured statistic which is in cell F8 and the appropriate number of degrees of freedom in F9, giving a p-value of 0 0.0149. And since this p-value is less than 0 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that there is a significant difference between these two slopes.